So one of the things I teach my beginners is to lace your fingers like this and to put your fingers in the back of your head. So when you do that, then I want you to push your head forward and if you push back into your hands like that with your elbows back and you're trying to keep your chest up and stand up, you know, as erect as possible. If you keep pushing forward and back, you will feel the muscles between your shoulder blades and up the back of the neck. So this is the first way you can learn to balance your head where it needs to be. And the other thing I always tell my students, I said, if you pick up your ears and pull your ears up, you're lifting your head up out of your body, lift your ears up and back above your shoulder. So if you always think, keep your ears up and back. So you never drop your ears, because again, as soon as your head pitches like this, then you're starting to strain your neck, you're starting to collapse in your chest, you're starting to cave in on yourself. So up here, you know, I would say ears back above your shoulders, right? And then you have some sense of energy that if you think that you're always pushing up the ceiling through your head, you're reaching for the ceiling, the top of your head. So you're always trying to stay as tall as you can.